So we're gonna be fishing with all Guggen uh, squad baits. Yep, that's a fish. Yeah, that's fish. He's a good fish. He's a good fish. Come on, come here. Jeez. Ah, got him. That's a good fish, son. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brett. I'm Run Bee Fishing um, and uh, we're happy to have you if you haven't already and you're new, go ahead hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out. I think the subscribe button's actually over here. Sorry about that. Now watch this video all the way through. It should be an exciting one. We are actually in our little John boat. It's just me today, no Chris today, but I'm at the pond and uh, we've got a little sponsored by video and it's sponsored by Catch Co and Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you haven't already, you gotta go check these guys out. It's gonna be the first link in the description. It's gonna be where I buy all of my baits. And uh, we're gonna go with a very popular squad on the YouTube, in the YouTube sphere. So we're gonna be fishing with all Guggen uh, squad baits. The Guggen squad by Catch Co. So I've got a little jig, the little juicy. This is the finesse jig. I've also got the mini recon. I've got a zinger, the spinner bait. I've got a nice top water, the hound. This is gonna be choice this morning if we can get this thing walking and get on an early morning top water bite uh, and i've also got the little jerk bait this is not in the box or not in a box because i already took it out i was about to start rigging it and i was like hey you may want to shoot your intro i mean you've only been doing this for a little bit now that's what's in the box we're after five fish i'm going to talk a little bit about the baits what i like about them let's go get on some fish let's do it all right folks so hopefully yeah y'all are recording i've also got this guy right here recording so we've got two different camera angles i've also got the big camera back here just in case something amazing happens which i don't think it will but i can flip it on if i need to so i think i'm gonna start with the walking bait first i think i'm gonna start with the hound uh, just because it's we're still in the morning hours i think it's well, just now eight o'clock i got out here a little bit of a late start today yeah, it's 8 10. So maybe we can still get on a little bit of a walking bait bite. We do have some splashing going on behind us, so hopefully we can do that. And I'll explain my setup as we go through. The only thing I don't have tied on yet is the uh, the mini recon, and that's really because I'm out of rods. Um, I know I've got these over here, but those are different setups. Different setup for each technique, folks. These Crocs ain't gonna last very long. I'm gonna end up ditching these. It's gonna be a hot one today, by the way. Uh, I think it's supposed to push triple digits today. So, loads of fun. All right, so let me tell y'all about this setup I've got going. I've got a seven to one reel, nothing super crazy fast, um, but in the upper echelon of speed. Uh, I'm using mono on this. I like using mono on my top waters with, uh, with my top waters that have treble hooks just because it gives me a little bit of extra stretch and mono floats. So not braid, um, just because I can really rip their lips to pieces with the, uh, the trebles and uh, they can come off. So I like using mono on a top water with trebles and I've got a medium heavy action rod. Again, nothing too crazy here. Just your basic, basic setup. Got one. Little guy. Oh, he's a little, little fella. Little guy. Little guy. You know what we call this one though? Still counts. All right. Now these little fellas right here are trouble. And I'll tell you why. Because there are treble hooks all in him. And he inevitably wants to get you with one because you got him with one. There you go. First one still counts. Guggen Hound is done. Let's let this little fella go. All right. Yeah, here's anxious to go. Sweet. Guggen Squad Hound is done. So he's going to move over here. I think let's go with the uh, the old jerk bait next. Um, so we're going to go with the Guggen Squad Scout. This is not the junior. This is the three trebled uh, big one. That's the only thing. I wish I would have had the junior because there are smaller fish in here. It just gives me more of an opportunity. Uh, best thing I can tell you about the Guggen Squad lineup um, is it's about the little things. So oval line tie, which means you'll never get caught uh, 
in that split ring where your line gets caught in that weird spot, you know, where it overlaps. So oval line tie is crucial. And the simple stupid things of, hey, it's four to six foot diving. It's little things like that that make these baits so good. I'm fishing this with fluorocarbon. I'm using a 6-3 to one gear ratio. And I'm using, uh, did I say fluorocarbon already? I'm pretty sure I did. And I'm using this on a medium action rod. So this is a seven foot medium action. Uh, just because, again, treble hooks. Uh, if you've ever seen a bass underwater attack a jerkbait, you'll know how quickly they bite and let go. And a lot of times those hooks won't get them all the way. Um, so if you've got a little bit of give in your rod to help you with that, you're not going to jerk it out of their mouth. Uh, it gives you a little bit more more give. That's fish. That's fish. Like I said, they come up and they'll hit real, real easy. And that rod helps you out a ton to get them in the boat. Now you are slightly bigger, but you're not much bigger. There you go. No, he's about the same size, I guess. Close to the same size. Again, we've got to get this size out of here and get them growing bigger. Um, but I think we're on the right path to that because these guys are getting thicker for sure. For sure, for sure. But that gets rid of our scout and we are done with the hound. So let's move on to the uh, the skirted baits as well as the mini recon. I can tie that on. I'm gonna put that on my medium rod that I was just using for the scout there. Nice fish, nice little fish, nice little pond fish. All right, buddy. Jeez, you're pissed off. Jeez, I don't blame you, but you ain't gotta be that mad. All right, so we actually are gonna go ahead and go with the mini recon. This is in the Mondo Shad color. I really dig this color. It's got just a little bit of that chartreuse on the back, just a little bit of extra. Again, three to six foot diving, super, super sticky mustad triple grip hooks and uh, an oval oval tie. I'm telling you, it's the little things that separate this stuff. Not to mention, it's got a really good wobble to it. And that was a really crappy cast. We've got a ton of cover back here on the back ton of down trees, different things that I can bounce this crankbait off of. So hopefully, hopefully we can make that happen. Not do that. That's fish. That's a pretty good fish. All right, I think he's a good fish. He feels like a good fish. This is a medium action. No, he's a good fish. I may want the net for this guy. Yeah, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Come on. Come here. Ah, got him. That's a good fish, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Got my big camera on now. There he is. Nice fish right there. Ooh, almost stepped on that hook. We're going to get a weight on him. Let's see what we're working with. Almost three. Two pan. Oh, I zeroed it out because I let it go. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Almost three. Three ounces shy of three pounds. And uh, he is tagged. Let me go ahead and get the number on him. I do not have a, a bump stick. It's one thing I forgot. He's 1046. So, number 1046 is two pounds and 13 ounces. Thank you for eating that, eating that crankbait, buddy. All right, you ready? Yeah, you're ready. Nice and easy. Back to the dips. Yes. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're done with three. We got to go the zinger and then the jig. It's been a good morning so far. Let's get back on them. So I'm going to the zinger here, and I've got two options for the zinger as far as trailer selection goes. I give you two options. I'll tell you why I'm choosing what I'm choosing. But here's oof, that, that fish quilled me pretty good. Got a, got a little bit of blood going on there. I could use, and what I'm going to use is these Exo Swims with a little bit of a green back to them. I believe this is a green pumpkin pearl. It's one of my favorite colors. I know I'm using it on the all white zinger, but it's going to give a little bit of a contrast to the back of it with just a little bit of green. That's what I'm hoping for. But 
Other good trailers would be the all white. Um, and this is the 3.25. I like a smaller profile, honestly. I like a shorter tail. I just get, a, I, I don't, I don't miss them as much because I'm not going to have a trailer hook on here. So I want it to shorten it up a little bit. Another great option would be the 3.5 Exopod in white. You can also get these in different colors as well. I believe I've got a pumpkin in here as well, but I'm going to actually go with that paddle tail, but don't sleep on these. This is a really good trailer for that, for any spinner bait, chatter bait. It's just a good trailer in general, even jigs. All right. So my little zinger here, again, it's all about the little details. So there you go. Tells you it's a 3 8 ounce. There's no guessing. It's printed right there on it. You got a little rubber band around the line tie so your line doesn't slip around everywhere. Again, they thought everything out. This is a hand tied. This isn't a rubber band skirt, so that skirt's going to stay on there a lot longer. And you got the hook keeper, that wire hook keeper, along with you know your molded hook keeper. It's the little things that separate this stuff. So when you're looking and considering what lure you want to use or what brand you want to use this is the reason these guggen squad by catch co baits are so good it's the little things they took into consideration every little thing and there you go see how short that is if i had a longer swim bait um, it'd stick out much further and i'd get a lot of short strikes that was a lot of fun right there glad we got on a big one i'm happy to get on a big one and I know what y'all are thinking. It's only so just a three pound fish, Brad. I mean, they're pretty much a three pound fish. It wasn't actually just three pounds. I mean, it was short. But uh, if you only knew, if you're new to the channel, if you only knew the crap me and Chris have gone through to get this place to where we can have fish in here like that, um, you'd be much more excited and appreciative of the fact that we've got a, a three pounder. But we've got several in here. We've got a couple fours, fives uh that we have you know moved in here but they're really hard to sustain if you don't have the, the forage and we've worked our butts off to get a nice bluegill population we've stocked crawfish in here we have stocked shad in here we've stocked tilapia so it's all about forage 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 and that's what we've got in here now and uh those bass are looking thicker they're looking healthier um, it's looking like we can actually have a true mega bass factory, which is what we're after. Got one. Don't shake it. I'm having to ski him in. He's a little guy. He's the littlest one of the day. He is the dink of the day for sure. Look how tiny. Look at the size of the bait compared to you. Are you serious? Did you really think? You were just after trying to wound it so you could have a little piece of it. Little bitty dink of the day. They can't all be winners, but thanks, buddy. All right, let's go to the jig. All right, folks, so what we have next, I've got it in this, uh, what is this, rotten pumpkin? There's all kinds of little glitter colors in here, but it's basically just a pumpkin in red which would be a good crawl color right now, um, like a summer type crawl. And uh, I'm gonna pair that actually with a summer crawl, uh, this kicker crawl by Carl's Amazing Baits. Now let me tell you why I chose this over these other ones. I could have paired it with these guys, these little exopods that actually probably wouldn't look too bad. However, here's the reason I'm not going to do that, okay? These exopods have a lip on the uh, the end of the little kickers here, the end of the little tails, and it puts off a lot of movement. And with a finesse jig, I don't really want a ton of movement. I kind of want it to be very finessey. I want it to be very subtle and not have a whole ton of action. So these kicker crawls are really good in the winter time, and they're really good when you want to go finessey because it's got a little bit of a lip there and it does give off some movement and vibration but nowhere near as much as those or like a crack and crawl. So that's why I'm going with this guy. Um, the color is not terrible. I do like that it's gonna give me a little bit of extra oomph. It's got a little bit of chartreuse in this green. It's a summer crawl color. So I'm gonna bite it down just a little bit and then we're gonna pair it up with this jig. 
There's a million jig companies out there, but what sets this jig apart? Again, it's got the weight on the bottom, which is just stupid easy. Why no one has ever done that to this point? I don't know. It's hand tied. It's no rubber band. You don't have to worry about it slipping. It's got a unique oval shape to the weed guard, so it just puts it in more of a not a rounded position so you can flare this thing out. You can make it do all kinds of stuff. It actually adds, it looks sort of more natural with that flare. Then it's also got the wire keeper back here along with a awesome mustad hook. I mean, this, the people, if you ever hear anybody tell you that uh, the Guggen Squad jigs are overrated, immediately unsubscribe from their channel if they've got a channel or just don't listen to them anymore because they don't know what they're talking about. Their jigs are legit. Um, and that is a really good pairing right there. I really like that. And uh, let's go smash a fish with it. Is that a fish? I think that's a fish. Yep, yeah, that's a fish. Can't tell if he's hooked. Yeah, he, no, he's hooked good. And he's hooked good. Let's go, let's go. Come here, little jig fish. Boom, you're hooked right to the top of the mouth. Like you were supposed to be. Woo, pop that thing out of there. You're not terrible. You're bigger than those little ones. So definitely the jig and the crankbait got us the bigger fish. Uh, I like that a lot. Okay, good deal. Thanks buddy, you're, dude, you're pretty fat also. You got a nice little belly on you. Thanks homie. Woo. Yes. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We were able to throw down on some fish. We got five fish, uh, two that were okay, one that was really, really good. Um, I was really, really happy that we've got pretty much a three pounder in here. Um, these fish are getting healthier, they're getting fatter, so the pond is starting to work, all the work that me and Chris have put into it. But anyway, if you are interested in buying any of those baits, head on over to Shop Carl's. Again, the link is in the top of my description. If you want, bookmark the link uh, that's in the description and just use that to get there every time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed it, go ahead, smash the like button. Go ahead, let me a comment below on what your favorite bait was that we fished with today. Mine, honestly, I love a jig. I love, I love, I love, I love, love a jig. But we got bit so quickly on that crankbait. Uh, today, for today's video, the crankbait was the deal. I feel like if I picked up the crankbait right now, I could probably go catch another fish on it. Like, easy. Anyway, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding dong notifications because we do a lot of giveaways over here and that's how we notify you. So if you are already on the notification list, when I drop a new video, it'll be, it'll be nothing. You just go check out the description, see if you want anything from the last video. Whew, it is hot. I have intentions of filming another video, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it because it's so hot right now and it's only 10 o'clock, but I may try to rough it till 12. So we're gonna try to get on another video here for you guys. It'll probably be the next or the next one of the next two videos i bet so you guys hang in there and uh we'll catch you on the next one later